Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Know that scow, you know, sure cuts a lot. Will uh, will cut any true type font that is installed on your computer. You know, of course, that's why you bought the thing, right? So you can do this sort of thing. And um, you know, all the fonts are listed right here, over here in the library. And say you found a font on the internet that you'd like to use, and you download. It. Well, uh, I I downloaded one right here. Got this off of Font Squirrel, and uh, you know, FontSquirrel.com. And uh, I downloaded Lafayette Comic Pro uh, font. And as you can see right now, it sure cuts a lot. Everything's in alphabetical order. And Lafayette is not uh, not installed. So in order to, uh, to install this, I'm going to show you uh, a quick way to do it. And it doesn't uh, involve going into the font folder or anything. So all you do is, uh, you know, this is going to be the file that you get from Font Squirrel. And all you do is uh, right click and extract all. And this is what you'll find in the uh, the folder here. So right here you see the TT. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and double click it. It just means true type font file. So uh, go ahead and double click. And then I'm just going to minimize. That's it. And we're going to go back to the library over here. And uh, we're going to go back down to the L's. It's not there because we didn't refresh. You got to refresh. So go ahead and click the refresh. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll on down, and we we should see the Lafayette Comic Pro is now installed. So that is one way to do it. Another way to install, which is going to be a more permanent uh, permanent point of view, because if you're going to use this method that I just showed you, you're going to have to uh, go ahead and double click this every time, and leave leave the uh, leave the True Type font thing open uh, while you're using it. So. That, that's that. Now if you want a more permanent solution, all you have to do is go to Start Control Panel and uh, in order to see this you may have to switch to, uh, to Classic View and you're gonna go ahead and go ahead and uh, go into the, the font folder right here and you can just go ahead and drop and drag this this file right here into this folder right here. So that's that's another way to install a font. Now keep in mind, if you install too many of these, it will uh, usually bog programs down, such as Word and other programs that uh, that install fonts as the program is opening. So keep that in mind. So uh, so that's a quick Scrappy Do tutorial tip on how to uh, quickly use uh, fonts that you download from the internet if you're only going to be using them once or twice in a certain file. So with that. 